Hello, welcome to Retro Tech 100. I'm back in the Retro Gaming Broom Cupboard. It's still a bit of a mess, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about one of these. This is a HDMI and a VGA adapter. Why would I want one of these? The wrong with RetroPie and one of these. It's a 17 inch VGA monitor. Now I've got lots of these kicking about. I've got three or four different sizes. So I thought I'd purchase one, it was £5.99. There's lots of these kicking around on eBay and Amazon. Let's see if they actually work. Put these monitors to good use and get RetroPie on a nice dinky 4x3, 17 and 15 inch monitor. I'm gonna open the package, show you what you get and let's see if it works. Let's see what you get for your money. It's a tech rise one. It's HDMI on this side and VGA on this side. So you hook this to RetroPie and hook this to your monitor. Then you've got micro USB for power and also a breakout port for the audio. You get a wire to hook to the audio of your choice. Maybe a Bluetooth speaker or into your monitor if you've got speakers in your monitor. And then there's a little wire for power. So that's the long and short of it. Let's see if it works on the monitor. Here's my little test monitor. This is a 15 inch VJ monitor. This is the VJ cable that's coming out of the monitor. This is the adapter. Hook it in like this. It needs power. And then you can optionally have the sound coming through it. Um, let's reboot the Raspberry Pi and see if it works. And we have lift off. Sometimes I need a reboot to get to 720p because this is probably what this monitor can manage. But it completely works. Sorry about this uh, thing you see here. This is not on the monitor at all. This is just low light in my little retro gaming room. So here we have it on a 15 inch VGA. Probably 1,024 by 768 monitor. It completely works. You see, it works just fine. Let's have a look at. Um, bit of main. Oh, and the sound comes through the out from the HDMI and out of the speakers in the monitor. Look at that. This is very loud. Let's credit up. Round one. The time bomb is set. That's actually a really nice picture. Probably helps that like, a lot of the games for Retro Pi 4x3. I also, I also have a projector, so I can use this for the projector. I might actually buy a few of these wires. I've got a lot of pies kicking around that I don't use because I don't have enough TVs, but I've got a buttload of these little monitors. And the, the, because it's 4x3, the picture is absolutely beautiful on it. Be fancy. Oh, this is an Spectrum. I've pressed the wrong button. You know what? We will have a bit of Spectrum on. What do we fancy here? I've had a bit of technician Ted. What a lovely picture this is. So, I'll just show you. It's just running from my Raspberry Pi to the VGA cable. I'm going to break out for the sound. I'll just disconnect that. And it needs a little bit of power to power this. Um, I just, this was it, my Pi was at 1080p. I just rebooted it, it's probably rebooted it to 720p, and there it is working. So, if you've got 15 inch, 17 inch monitors kicking around, and you want a, a recommendation for a cable, the TechRise HDMI to VGA adapter is the one to go with. I'll leave a link in the description below. 
but I can attest that this one works. I will try it on some other monitors and projectors in the future and let you know. Okay, back to Technician Ted. This has been Retro Tech 100. I will see you next time. As you can see, I don't know how to play the technician 10. There we go, that's the jump button. Not this one. No, don't know how to get up there. Never mind.